Hi everybody, welcome back to our Redemption Hymns. Blessed and honoured to have another special guest with us today. She's been with us already, but she's back now to share her second hymn. And she'll tell you all about it rather than me. So here she is. Corrine, God bless you. Rejoice in the Lord. Redemption hymnal number 383 by James McGranahan. James McGranahan was born in 1840 in Pennsylvania. He was gifted with a rare tenor voice and he studied for years with eminent teachers who urged him to train for a career in opera. This advice opened up to his imagination dazzling prospects of fame and fortune and he was assured time and time again that it was all within his grasp. James McGranahan was a Christian and he had a Christian friend called Philip Bliss who was concerned about him. His friend was also a capable musician who had gone through many of the same experiences in his younger days as a singer. However, he had been sensitive to the claims of the Lord in his life and had yielded his talents to God for full-time Christian service. Bliss was serving as a gospel soloist with the great evangelist Major Whittle. Philip Bliss and his wife were preparing for a trip home to Pennsylvania for Christmas. There was much to be done, but in the middle of all the bustle and hurry, Bliss felt strangely compelled to take time out to write McGranahan a letter. He kept thinking of his 36-year-old friend who was still studying music, still preparing, but for what? Would it be opera or would it be the Lord's work? Bliss, needing encouragement for what he had written, read it to Major Whittle. In the letter, he compared McGranahan's long course of musical training to a man preparing his tools for the harvest. He strongly urged, stop preparing and strike into the grain to reap for the master. These words touched James as no others had before. He could think of nothing else. Tragically, Philip Bliss and his wife died just days later in a train accident. James received news of the tragedy and rushed immediately to the scene of the accident and it was there for the first time that he met Major Whittle. The two men made the return trip to Chicago together and as they rode they talked. Before they reached the city, James decided to yield his life, his talents, his all to the service of his saviour. He would strike into the grain to reap for the master. He then went on to compose music for many of Major Daniel Whittle's lyrics, including I Know Whom I Have Believed, and to write his own hymns also, including this one, which is my favourite hymn, Rejoice in the Lord, if God be for us, who can be against us? And it goes like this, or something like this. Rejoice! Yeah. 